Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Welcome back friends. Welcome to another video tutorial from Kami Biology and in this video lecture I'm going to talk about the polymaxine antibiotic. Right? So let me write the name. Polymaxine. Now what is polymaxine? Polymaxine is actually an antibiotic which are used against the bacteria and these antibiotics are actually used against the gram-negative bacteria. These polymaxine are actually produced by gram-positive bacteria and we call that bestless polymexa. So let me write. Produced by gram-positive gram -positive bacteria and we call that bestless Polymexia. Polymexia. Well, these drugs are actually bactericidal in nature. Bactericidal. These drugs are bactericidal in nature. What does it mean? It means that they can kill bacteria. How? Because they can. But because uh, the, if we if we see the mechanism of action, because they can interfere with the cell membrane. So once they interfere with the cell membrane, so the cell membrane will burst, and then uh, automatically the cell will die. So that's why we call that it is bactericidal in nature. Now this poly polymyxin, if we talk the structure of this polymyxin, that how it will be look like. Uh, so this polymyxin actually hydrophobic. Uh, this is hydrophilic, and this is hydrophilic. Fine. Now this head portion is consist of the polypeptide. It is made up of polypeptide, and this tail is carry strong positive charge. Fine. So this tail carries strong positive charge, and this is the polypeptide. This is made up of polypeptide chain. Fine. So it is made up of polypeptide. Fine. Now, what are the mechanism of action of this polymyxin? You want to understand the mechanism of action of polymyxin, so you need to understand the cell membrane of the gram-negative bacteria because these drugs are show best results against the gram-negative bacteria. So let me draw the gram-negative uh, cell membrane structure here. So how it will be look like? This gram-negative bacteria actually contain a phospholipid. So. Now this is the fast polypeptide. Fine. This head, as I draw this circular, these are the head portion, and these head portion are uh, hydrophilic. And this tail, as I draw here, these are the hydrophobic. So they will be buried inside this uh, area, and the hydrophobic will be uh, the had this hydrophobic layer will be. Uh, outside and this hydrophilic will be inside. Fine, and these are actually phospholipids. Phospholipids. Lipids. Fine. Now, with this phospholipids, there are some other layers, uh, and we call that peptidoglycan. Actually, this peptidoglycan is made up of sugar so this sugar uh, the first sugar we call that name and the second sugar we call that uh, neg fine and uh, here are some uh, peptide bond will attach and then they make again another sugar content so then we get another sugar content again If we talk, this, this layer is called peptidoglycan. Peptidoglycan. Now, the peptidoglycan, in case of gram negative bacteria, is very thin, and in case of gram positive bacteria, it is very thick. And we, uh, now, after that, again, there is another cell membrane. Now, one thing you should have to keep in your mind that uh, gram-negative bacteria contain two cell membrane. This outer cell membrane 
we call that this this one cell membrane we call that outer cell membrane and this one we call that inner cell membrane fine so this is inner cell membrane and this one outer and this one is inner cell membrane now with this outer cell membrane there are some uh, long chain are arises uh, these long chain are actually called as uh, lipopolysaccharide so let me write the name in a short form we write lps lipopolysaccharide this outer layer this one it is made up of uh, this outer layer is actually we call it o polysaccharide o poly sekha ride this middle layer i mean this middle portion of this lipopolysaccharide it is made up of core polysaccharide and this one which are embedded in the cell membrane we call it lipid a lipid a fine so this lipopolysaccharide is actually made up of these three uh, these three portion the uh, the out the uppermost portion we call that o polysaccharide the mid portion we call that core polysaccharide and the embedded means this uh, uh, means this uh, lipopolysaccharide are embedded in the cell membrane we call that uh, lipid a fine so this is a little bit introduction to cell membrane of the gram negative bacteria this one is outer membrane outer membrane this one is the inner membrane now what actually the drugs do here this polymyxin will come and due to the presence of this lipopolysaccharide they will attached they will attach I mean this is the structure and they will attach to this lipopolysaccharide with lipid a portion now at lipid a portion of this lipopolysaccharide this polymyxin will easily bind and once they bind to that area so what happen then a pore will be formed so here a pore will be formed so the pore will be formed and what happen the calcium ions and the magnesium ion we usually call that divalent so divalent cation divalent cation means magnesium and calcium this ion will released out or we can say this ion will be displaced so once these ions are displaced so what happen after that after that the means the the content which are present inside the cell will be released out or sometime the content which are present outside the cell will be internalized means the the permeability of the cell membrane will be increased due to which the exchange of the material will be occur and now due to this increased permeability the cell will sometime shrink and the cell will sometime swell by which the cell have no uh, means the cell will have no a shape and finally the cell will burst and kill or die so that's how this is the mechanism of action of this uh, uh, lipo poly, uh, this uh, polymyxin and uh, this polymyxin not only attached to this uh, this polymyxin is usually attached to this lipopolysaccharide and they will also rupture once they attached to this lipopolysaccharide then they will rupture this phospholipid also see so the phospholipid also ruptured so this is the mechanism of action of this polymyxin b and let's talk the antibacterial spectrum now if we talk the antibacterial spectrum anti bacterial spectrum so it is activated against uh, let me write the name of these bacteria pseudomonas pseudomonas e coli Klebsiella, fine. B and Protodella uh, pertussis. B pertussis. 
B pertussis. There are some other uh, there are some other bacteria, but these are the common bacteria which are activated against uh, which uh, which are uh, susceptible to these drugs. Now, what are the resistance? If we talk the resistance, so if we talk the resistance. resistance against these drugs the resistance which are activated against these drugs in case of gram negative bacteria gram negative bacteria will show no resistance or the resistance which are occurring in case of gram negative bacteria are uncommon but some of the uh, gram negative bacteria will show resistance and these are nizero gonorrhea gram negative cocci these bacteria will show a little bit resistance but the resistance if we talk the all gram positive bacteria so let me write all gram positive bacteria because they lack LPS lipopolysaccharide so all gram positive bacteria show resistance why because they lack lipopolysaccharide so once these bacteria don't have the lipopolysaccharide so how these drugs will be bind now the second resistance if we talk to a flux pump a flux pump what actually this a flux pump do let's suppose this is a bacterial cell fine now this area let, let's suppose this area is a porine channel now due to this porine channel the drugs will be internalized and here are let me draw with the blue marker there are some other channels and we call that a flux pump once the drugs uh, let's support the drugs once the drugs are internalized so they will be attracted to these uh, a flux pumps so the drugs will internalize and once the flux pumps are present so what actually happen this a flux pumps will attract the drugs and once the drugs are attracted so then again the drugs will expelled out from the cell so this is another resistance activated against these drugs so now these are the resistance and uh, resistance only activated in case of gram positive bacteria now if we talk the uh, side effect of these drugs so what are the side effect of these drugs so let me write the side effect so the side effect of these drugs are the fever pain in muscle meningeal irritation menin gel irritation stiff neck stiff neck so there are some other side effect but these are the common side effect fine so these are the side effect of the polymexine and uh, I hope this video helpful. If you like the video, please hit the like button, share this video and also subscribe the channel because in the next video, if you subscribe the channel and, and then you will get the more updates of the antibacterial, uh, antibacterial drugs or you will get more updates of the antibiotic drugs. Fine. So subscribe the channel to get more updates of the antibiotic drugs in the next video. And inshallah, in the next video, we are going to talk about other antibiotic drugs in a detail. So stay tuned and continue to watch. Thank you so much.